So we've reached the second stop, the actual Humayun's tomb. But this is, uh, looks like some renovation, digging work going on here. I hope they're not making another tomb over here. Uh, the entrance we came from doesn't look like the main entrance. So it's like a sidewalk where I'm walking. And this, this here looks like the main or rather the entrance, yeah, this is the main entrance. So let's take the ticket and go in. So we have officially entered the Humayun's tomb. Again, a nice green facade. All right, before entering the main tomb, let's look what's that. Please pardon the improper use of English and grammar. I have just learnt it two days ago. Alright, so this is Isa Khan's tomb. Okay, so he was a noble in the court of Shir Shah Suri, etc. etc. Let's have a look how it is. small but looks neat and clean so I am seeing the commonality between tombs and you know what's the commonality I'll show you very soon. Couples everywhere. I don't know whose tomb is this, but what did I tell you? Couples! Okay, so that's it. This was a tomb. Now let's go to the main structure why we came here for the Humayun's tomb. This is the Humayun's tomb. We have arrived. It's a world heritage monument. Let's go in. Alright, some renovation here as well. Let's check this out. What this is? Okay, this is the visual history of the Humayun's tomb. That's the beginning. Why do three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Quite picturesque, if you ask me. Okay, this is a visual model of the whole structure. So 
these have some details about the tomb, about the scale and geometry, yes. then about the kind of stone used. So you don't need a guide actually, you can just read all this and you'll have all the information. This is making of a Jali. Jali is like a neck structure. I'm assuming this is what they're talking about. This is called a Jali. Jolly is more like a strainer. Alright, this is the grand moment. Dun, dun, dun. That's the Hamayun stone. Looks quite beautiful. Again, to my inexperienced eyes, looks like a Taj Mahal. <laughs> Look, it's far from it actually. Let's check it out. Alright, brief history. So yeah, this looks quite big and more magnificent than Safta Junk School. Quite beautiful actually. And this is a walkway leading to the Hamayun School. Check out the area. It's massive, you know, sprawling acres of land for this king's tomb. Just FYI, he was the second Mughal emperor, the son of Babur and the father of Akbar. And this is his tomb. I found a lot of squirrels everywhere. Yesterday I had gone to the Red food. And there were a lot of friendly squirrels there as well. Even here, when I look around, there are a few jumping cute little creatures. These flight of stairs were quite steep. Be careful when you come here. And we have reached the main structure. Okay, there's the entrance. We can go inside as well. Let's go in and see what's so special about this. What's this? So this is one of the rooms and I see three tombs here. I don't know who these belong to. So this is the area where the main tomb is located. 
I'm assuming and I hope I'm right. This is Humayun's tomb. Here lies the remains of the second Mughal king. Let's circle around the monument once to give you a complete Tombs and tombs. Are they actual tombs or just here for decoration? Okay, time to bid adieu to the Humayun's tomb. <laughs>